Hi guys, today we're having another look at a couple of products from Revolution. So for those of you that don't know, there's a company called Tam Beauty who used to produce I Heart Makeup, Freedom, Revolution, Makeup Obsession, um, a couple of other brands, I think there was like a Katie Price range on their website as well. Uh, but they seem to have sort of consolidated all their brands, got rid of some bits and pieces and rebranded everything under Revolution. So you've got normal Revolution, you've got Revolution Pro, which a lot of looks like what Freedom used to be, and then you've got I Heart Revolution, whoops, which is basically the I Heart makeup rebranded under the Revolution heading. So we're having a look at one of the newer Revolution Pro palettes. This is the Regeneration Trends Mischief Matte Palette. It's £8, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. It's got 18 eyeshadows of 0 0.8 grams. And it doesn't come with a mirror, but it does have a see through top, which I do kind of like. I don't often use the mirrors in palettes, but I like being able to see what colours are there when I'm choosing it. So, as you can see, we've got an interesting range. We have an almost black purple, we've got white, um, we've got, well, we've only really got two kind of, I guess, neutralish type colours. It is definitely about the brights, but we've got them all covered. We've got oranges, we've got yellows, we've got greens, we've got blues, we've got purples, we've got pinks. We've even got this kind of corally pink here, which is very nice. So, trying that out today. And we are also try trying out the multi-liners from I Heart Revolution. These are £5 each and there's basically four liners in each of them which have 0 0.10 grams of product in with them. These are cruelty free but they are not marked vegan. No, neither of them are marked vegan. So I've got the Brights option, which as you can see is silver teal purple and blue, I thought they were seeing violet for a second there, and just the kind of classic one, which has got your black, your brown, a brightening nude and a lip liner in a nude colour as well. So I use these guys doing my makeup today and let's see how that went. Right, so let's get started. So first off, I don't really have a kind of creamier toned all over the brow option in this palette. So I think what I'm going to do is dab between Saint and Attached, um, mainly Saint, and hopefully that's going to kind of, you know, give us that effect. I've already got my NYX brow primer, brow primer on. I've already got my NYX eye primer on, um, the Proof It primer. Okay, that's worked all right actually. These aren't the most scarily pigmented so far, but we are just playing with a white and a pale brown. So let's see, keep going. They do feel nice and silky going on and they've definitely, they've definitely done the job actually. So yeah. Um, coming to a transition shade, I think we are gonna be using Attached again. Um, because it's the only, it's the only kind of paler neutral other than white. So there we go. I know I could use other palettes and I don't think this is meant to be a standalone palette. But, you know, it's a review. I want to kind of focus on using this. So we're using as many shades as possible from it. So I'm just going to take that quite high up because it is going to be a very subtle kind of transition effect because, well, it's a subtle colour. <laughs> just going to zoom you guys in because you can see that but I'm not sure it's picking up on the camera particularly well. So we've got a kind of soft transition effect going on, um, but I have had to build it up just a little bit. So 
eye colours, eye colours, eye colours. So the darkest shade we've got here is actually a very, very dark purple. And I think I want to play with the kind of greeny colour as well. Um, so I think I'm going to go in with that as the lid and then build some purples into my crease. And of course I forgot a shadow brush down here, didn't I? Okay. So that green colour is called Poison, which is an awesome name, and okay. That's pigmented enough. I wouldn't have objected to there being more pigment. Um, I feel like I want to layer this up for it to look completely even. And yeah, but it's a nice colour. I'm just going to get the other eye built up as well and be right back. Okay, so I've got a little bit of fallout, although I think that's partially I slightly forgot to tap my brush, which is sadly not unusual for me. Um, but yeah, I've built the two of them up. I do feel like I had to go over my lid more than once, um, just because it was a little bit gappy kind of feeling. And actually, I now want to go in with a different transition shade, because I'm weird. Um, let's go into exclusive. So we're just going to work the purples in a little bit more before I go in with the really dark ones. So... That's nice. I've obviously got this in a very fluffy blending brush, so... You know, we're not expecting like full-on pigment, but that's done really nice. And it is blendable. Now, it's harder to get blendable mattes than shimmers when you're formulating makeup. And especially at a budget level, you know, I've kind of learned to anticipate that the mattes are not necessarily going to be the silkiest, smoothest, most blendable things I've ever played with. But these guys are nice. So next I'm going to go in with this random crease brush from Primark, but I actually really like it. Um, I'm going to start with Haunted before I go in with Curse, which is the really dark one. So... This is a kind of more burgundy plum. Do, do, do. Okay. It's blending really nicely with exclusive actually. So that's always good. That makes makes life easier when shadows do that. So, building up in the outer V and then dragging it through my crease. Do, do, do. And then just the same on the other eye. Again, I do find I'm kind of going back into the colours a couple of times. but it is a very pretty colour. <laughs> Not quite sure about the lid shade um, with this, but it was just colours I felt like playing with. So... Right, and then last I'm just going to use the exact same brush and I'm going to go into Curse, which is the much darker shade. And we're just going to get that right in the outer corner there. Just to add a bit more um, depth and shadow there. Okay, I am going to go and quickly do my face makeup and come back because we do have another product to test out.
So finished most of the rest of my makeup. So the next two products we're looking at are the multi liners from iHeart Revolution. So I have got the. Do they have specific names? Don't know if they do. Dun dun dun. Okay. So I've got the. Oh no. Multi liner. I've got a black, a brown, a neutral, and a lip liner on this one. And then I've got multi liner brights, which has got a blue, a purple, a teal, and a silver. Uh, so let's start with getting the black liner. So you slide this down, the bottom comes out, and then you twist it like an ordinary twist up liner. Although, hang on, am I twisting this the wrong way? I'm twisting it the wrong way. And now twisting it the other way and there's still nothing happening. Hey, it started to come out. Okay. So it's not the fastest of twist ups that we've got here. So I'm going to use the black, just like a normal liner. Um, we're going to try and do the wing, but I don't know how well that's going to work out for me. So we'll see. Um, right. So first off, ow. Um, I think maybe warming this up in the back of my hand might have been a plan. But we've done it now. Okay. So you can see we've skipped a little bit there. It's definitely not the softest, creamiest formula I've ever worked with. But then I wasn't really expecting it to be, because how airtight can this really be as a container? But, you know, we've got... We've got a line going on, and then I'm just going to try and do a wing. Ooh. Let's get some more up here. Oh, we snapped it. We have a fatality. Yeah, I definitely feel like being dry and snapping is kind of going to be a not uncommon thing with this style of liner. I think YSL brought one out as well. But I don't really pay attention to them because they're not cruelty free. Right. Okay. I mean, that's passable. So I'm going to go and do my other eye off camera just so this isn't incredibly long. Okay, so I've done the other eye. I have such a hard time trying to do wings with a pencil and actually I've just realised that we are not even nearly the same size. So let's try and extend this one. That's gonna have to do. Um so I don't know if I can screw this back down or not going with not okay so if I remember correctly from childhood the way to get these back out is to push against one of the other ones yay we also have a nude colored eyeliner kind of waterline eye-opening brightening so we are going to give that a shot although after how kind of stiff the black one was I might be a little bit nervous and again, we are twirling for quite a while. And I am doing it the right direction this time, I've learned. So we've got up a little bit of that. And I'm going to just wobble it against the back of my hand for a little bit and just try and warm up slightly. And then we're going to go into the waterline with it. Okay, that definitely worked. Okay. I'm not used to wearing this, by the way. I don't normally do the whole light waterline 
thing. Oh, it tickles. Okay, no, that's worked. Um, I'm going to use part of the bright one as well. I think we're going to try the teal colour on my lower lash line. Oh, that twirled up much faster. Right, I don't know if this is glittery or if it's just that the end of the actual pencil has like a ton of glitter on it. You see that? So, this could be interesting. And again, I'm going to warm it up in the back of my hand just because that worked so well with the kind of lighter one. So... Okay, there does seem to be a bit of shimmer in this. That's cool. I mean, I didn't know that, but it's still cool. I like it. And then... Uh, uh. Just do the same on the other side. And then I'm just going to quickly throw on some mascara. haven't bought any mascara from this range yet. <laughs> Probably will at some point. And then we're going to go back to the original multi liner and we're just going to use the lip liner. So I've got some lip balm on and we're just going to use the liner to add a little bit of colour. Okay, so this kind of darker nude shade is the lip liner. So, do do do. They're not actually marked in any way. Um, it's just you can tell from the back of the box that the darker one is the lip liner. And also, if you put that really pale one on your lips, you'd probably look pretty much how I'm looking just now, actually, with foundation on my lips. So, again, this one's taking a little while to come up and join us. The brights definitely seem to come up a little bit faster. Okay. Right. Whew. Ooh, that's a bit more brown than I was expecting. Oh well, we're doing it now. Okay, this is creamy, this is nice. Okay, I mean I wouldn't say it's the most dramatically different to my normal own lip colour, um, but yeah, that went on much nicer than I was expecting. So I'm going to go about my day and we'll see how all of these hold up and I will be back with check-ins. Right, so the time now is 11.24 by the way, um, so we'll be measuring our check-ins from that point. Hey, hands up if your day took a really strange turn. Yeah, I have a wristband on. Um, I was having a nice quiet day, going to lunch with my parents, going to Speedway with my parents. So maybe that's not quiet. And I came home from Speedway and opened my laptop to look at Netflix and saw a post from a charity that I help out that they were looking for volunteers to go and sell CDs to raise money for the charity at the Foreigner gig. So... I ended up at a foreigner gig and that's me just home. So, the time now 
is 25 past 12. Which does mean that we've had these shadows on and these liners on for 13 hours. So let's see what we're left with. So the shadows are looking pretty darn good, I would say. Um, I've got a little bald patch on this eye, but to be honest with you, it got wet. Um, my eye ended up watering. So we're going to judge from this eye. So the green is still pretty vibrant. I think we've got a little bit of transfer of the purple down, but nothing too drastic. The different purples are still kind of visible and nicely blended out. Um, zooming in a little bit further, the black liner's actually held up really well. The wing looks pants, but that's because I can't do wings with pencils. We've still got that teal on the bottom um, lash line. And I feel like my waterline does still look brighter than normal. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. The lip liner obviously hasn't lasted quite as long as the shadows. Um, but to be honest with you, that's not hugely surprising. It gets a bit more wear and tear as you eat and things like that. But I still think it was definitely a nice lip liner. Um, it went on nice and smoothly. So, overall, let's see, eyeshadow palette I'm definitely putting into the, the good goodbye category. Like, I think the colours in this are amazing. I can see myself reaching for it. I'm really looking forward to using Ringleader, which is this kind of unusual corally colour. Um, Crusade looks pretty as well. And, you know, Haunted and Cursed, I can see myself reaching for again, 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 and again. So, definitely think this is worth the £8. The liners... I'm in two minds about this. So... These are nostalgic and that's amazing and I love that. But I don't know if they really take up that much less room than, you know, packing a couple of traditional liners. So, just for argument's sake, if I had four full-sized pencils, they are taking up that much room. And this is taking up that much room. So you're not really saving the biggest amount of space by having these as a kind of all-in-one. Um, I have slightly more appeal for this one where you've got the lip liner and the eyeliner because the lip liner is something that you would touch up during the day. You would touch up your lip colour. And to be honest with you, if ever I put black eyeliner on my waterline, I have to touch that up during the day and same for the kind of nudie colours. The bright colours, okay, yep, I can see that if I had one of those on my waterline I would have to touch up on the go, but if I had one I would take one with me rather than this. So I think these are cool, I think if you're older you'll probably want these for the nostalgia and the product that's in them is nice and the price point is decent. So I'm not knocking them, but you know, it's a little bit strange. If you know you're definitely going to use all the colours, great. Uh, if you're not going to use all the colours, then just buy a couple of normal eyeliners. So that is my thoughts. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Same if you've got any requests, leave those below, but also remember to subscribe so that you're around to see if I do them. And I am finally going to bed after my rather strange day. Um, if anyone's curious, the charity that I sometimes help out is the Greyhound Awareness League. I will put their link down below as well. And we raised a decent amount of money for the doggies tonight. So, yay! Bye guys!